Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial on cutting paths in Illustrator. We're going to start with this ellipse here. And as with ellipses that are drawn in Illustrator, it has four anchor points around it. To cut it, I'll use the scissors tool, which shares a toolbar position with the eraser tool. Now I can cut it in one of a number of ways. I can cut it using the anchor points by hovering over an anchor point and clicking once, and then doing the same at the next anchor point. That will result in two separate paths. You can see that we have two paths here. It's also possible to cut this where there are no anchors. So with the scissors tool, I'll just hover over a point on the path here and then hover over a point on the path here. Now, when I go to the selection tool, you'll see we have two distinct shapes and they are different pieces of this ellipse, but we've cut them through like this. Now you may be curious as to what kind of path you're getting when this happens and we'll see this in this rectangle. This rectangle has a stroke on it. Let's go to the scissors tool. Let's cut it in a similar way. We're not going to do it on the anchor points, but we could. I'm just going to cut it across the diagonal here, a sort of forced diagonal. Here you can see that this is not a closed shape. So we're not actually getting a finished closed shape here. Otherwise, if we did, the stroke would go all the way around. If you want to, having cut this into two pieces, if you want to join it together so that it is a closed shape, you're going to select one of these anchor points and then shift drag over the second anchor point so that these are both selected and then choose object path join. Now you get a closed shape. Let's have a look at this line here. It only has two anchor points on it. There's one at either end. To cut it in pieces, we'll go to the scissors tool and just cut where we want it to be. We're just making sure we're cutting on the path. Go to the selection tool. Here we have two pieces of a line and Illustrator has added the required anchor points to the line. Finally, let's have a look at this sort of stylized Christmas tree here. I just want to zoom in. When I select it with the direct selection tool, you'll see that there are anchor points only at the tips here. When I go to the scissors tool, I can cut this into individual pieces by just clicking over the anchor point. If you don't get it right on the anchor point, you'll see an error message so you can have another shot at getting it in position. All I've lost right now is those nice rounded ends on my line. So I'll select my line, go back to the stroke panel, just make sure they have rounded caps on them. Now, instead of having a single line that comprises this Christmas tree, I have lots of individual lines. And that can be handy because there may be an approach that you want to take, for example, adding a pattern brush to these lines. And if it's a pattern brush such as lights, then it would be facing one way on the downstroke here and another way here and another way here. This way, breaking it up into individual lines allows you to flip the brush over a line if necessary to make your tree look correct. I hope that this video has helped you understand a little bit better how you can cut things into pieces in Illustrator. If you enjoyed this video and learned something you didn't already know, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And until next time, my name is Helen Bradley and thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel.